Live from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube, covering HP Discover 2015. Brought to you by HP. And now your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for HP Discover 2015. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. We're here with a very special guest, Cube alum, Antonio Neri, who's the <laughs> Senior Vice President, General Manager of the Enterprise Group. Really the, the captain ship as HP tells the story. Welcome back to the Cube. Great to see you smiling. You get the nice <laughs> outfit on. You're just on stage at the keynote with Meg Whitman. How do you feel? Well, first of all, thanks for having me back. Uh, it's always great to see you guys, and uh, see you too. feeling really great. I think it was a great day today, uh, talking to our customers, both live and around the globe. Uh, I'm Billy in Hilo Packard Enterprise, our, our view of the future with our strategy, and uh, feeling really good, really good. I felt when I was watching you up on stage, you know, one, our love for you being a CUBE alumni, of course I'm biased, <laughs> um, was you're with your accent and your, your you were humble, but you were, it was a unifying experience. I saw the groups come together, um, number one in security. The story was really strong. And so I want to ask you a personal question. How did that all come together? What was behind the scenes? Was it a rallying cry? Meg obviously wants to get the story simplified, unified bring the company together, give us some color behind, what's yeah. going on behind? I, I think the answer is simple. Customers are demanding it. I mean, that's the simple answer. When you think about you know, the pace of change we're going through today and, uh, and, and the challenge the customers are going through, they demand you know, a partner that delivers solutions. Solutions focus on business outcomes. So it's all about delivering business outcomes. What is the biggest challenge they have? It's time to value. And for us, we are in a unique position because we have all the assets to give them the solution to deliver those business outcomes so they can move with the speed, the agility, the cost that they need to serve their customers. So I will say it was customer driven, first and foremost. And second, I will say HP, you know, uh, as we engage so many customers, realize that we have a unique opportunity, a unique opportunity to really win in the marketplace. So. I think you know the team came together and delivered a very compelling story. Today. So you have you have that customer driven. So I know Dave wants to jump in some questions. But there's limited right. time, and I want to ask this one specific because cloud and big data obviously are big parts of the messaging as well as right. convergence. They're all kind of coming together, and we've talked about this kind of in the queue before. I want to get your answer on this: is where you know horizontally scalable is what the cloud's all about, and we've had great conversations on that. But then vertically integrated stacks are happening in the cloud as right. well. So you have horizontally scalable and vertically integrated. How do you manage that in a company that could be looked at as you know, siloed product groups? There was no messaging around products, it was all solutions. So you're making that change, you're busting down the silos, at least on the messaging side. How do you manage right. the group as you have a horizontally scalable and vertically integrated stacks? I mean, right. I mean you guys are making great change right, right now. What's your, what's your view on that? So I think, let's talk about cloud. Cloud is all about delivering services. That's it. I mean, that to my simple view is all about delivering services faster with the right economics and the speed that customers are looking for. Then, you know, the world is going to be dominated by workloads. New applications, new way to deliver those services. And the reality, you have to operate in a hybrid environment. Uh, some workloads will, will live on the, on the public side, you know, in a consumed way. And some, many of them, will be on-prem. And I think HP has the unique view to provide the infrastructure for both build and consume with the right automation and orchestration to move those overloads where it makes the most sense. So I think, you know, as you see tomorrow, you're going to see another iteration of our story. So I'm not going to unveil anything. You don't want to. <laughs> so I'm going to encourage you to pay attention to the keynote tomorrow by Martin Fink. So talk about the vision, how we're going to move yeah. in this horizontal vertical. Uh, and I think you know the integration of hybrid stack management with the right orchestration in an app-driven world, infrastructure really matters. But also how you integrate that yeah. orchestration really matters. So this is why horizontal and vertical it makes a lot of sense. And just tactically, the portfolio you got some bright spots in it. I mean, you're EG growing in constant currency, which is right. great, growing nicely in constant currency. The the ISS business ex exploding, the Gen 9 momentum, right. three par. This keep the gift that keeps on giving, right. I would say. Is Aruba the next three part? We believe so. Uh, so let me comment a little bit since you brought up our performance. Yeah. Uh, I'm very proud of the results. Obviously we have more work to do and I think a lot of opportunities in front of us. As you know, I used to run the server business. 
and I cannot be more proud of what our server engineering and go-to marketing have done. We grew 70% in cost and currency. That's phenomenal growth. Uh, we think you know the people will consume more compute, not less compute. And if you think about behind us, right, you have the entire you know, set of compute platform. We talk about before delivering the right compute for the right workloads and the right economics. We are the only vendor who can address all the right workloads uh, in the market. I think 3 part, you know, we just make an announcement with a new family, you know. More than 40% of our 3 part today is consumed in all flash array. So you can see customers are taking advantage of the innovation with all flash, with the performance and the cost they're looking for. So when you move to networking, we were very focused on transforming our networking business. And networking, you know, half of the market is actually campus. And so we, we realized we have an incredible set of assets in our switching side, but we needed to increase our presence on the wireless side, but more on the software side. And this is why we went on and uh, acquired Aruba Networks, which is actually an expert in transforming end-to-end -end user experiences. And Aruba actually brings tremendous amount of innovation with her uh, on-prem solution, their cloud Wi-Fi solution, vertical focus, and we have an incredible amount of use cases. And you're going to see tremendous traction within 90 days uh, of the closure, which was just a week and a half ago. And you're injecting some new management talent into the group. Oh, Dom, Dom is unbelievable. Manish you saw on the well. stage today, the yeah. passion, yeah. Uh, the focus that he has, the innovation that he brings, yeah. the Aruba team is fantastic. We I had a just great chat with him here in the Cube, but it's going to be released tonight or tomorrow, because we didn't want to spill his speed <laughs> beans. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, the wireless is, is the new thing, and their implementation at Levi Stadium Yep. is impressive. I have been there at the opening game, and I was blown away with the experience. You know, you get there, you download the 49ers app, and you get a unique experience because the way the app to the infrastructure was optimized was all around the Aruba, yeah. right. Aruba solution, right? They can personalize, basically it's a context-aware access. They're to the delivering, uh, context-aware, they're delivering replays six seconds after a touchdown from every camera angle to the phone. You can't That miss. is just mind-blowing. Uh, well, you want to buy a beer without moving, it just... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I, <laughs> that, I mean, that's the personalized experience people are demanding today. So tell about the, one, the story now. The HP story is really hangs together. I love the messaging, okay? You got hybrid cloud, software-defined infrastructure, great. Did, did protect your digital assets, data-driven enterprise, workplace productivity, solution driven not the product. What's the common threads across them? You got some big data that's going to tra travel across. We've heard that you know, security is a big data problem, an opportunity. Right. I think it's simple. It's all about the app and the data. At the end of the day, it's all about the application and the data. And so this is when we talk about the customers. They are going to embark on those four major transformation journeys we walk on stage. Transform it to a hybrid infrastructure, operate what they have today, as best as they can while they build the bridge for the future. And you know, there's going to be a ton of legacy applications. They're not going to move to the cloud, but they need a more effective way to manage those operations in their, in their IT, IT environments. Then you have protecting your digital enterprise, right? So, and that's very important. Everything is being digitized. So how you protect the interaction with that data is not about securing the infrastructure, but is securing those interactions with your data, which is your intellectual property. Then obviously, you know, empowering a data-driven organization. How I take that data and make something out of it? So whether it is to prevent issues in my own environment or whether to generate new profitable revenue opportunities for my company. And last but not least, you know, is enable workplace productivity. Everybody here, right, is connected to whatever they are doing. Yeah. And the, the workplace is now digital. There's no boundaries. But at the end of the day, you have to provide an end-to-end -end experience from the foundation on the infrastructure, to the security, to the application, in a way that's seamlessly integrated. So that's, those are the four uh, transformation journeys customers have to go through, and our, our focus is to bring those solutions to the customers in a way they can deliver the business outcome they're looking for. But at the end, it's all about the application of the data. So I got to ask you about services. You brought up services, we meant cloud services, which is the real value, yep. we see that as well. Let's talk about professional services. You have the TC organization, you know this business, you've, you've seen it, right? A lot of profit, but customers need this right now. So yep. the common thing that Dave and I hear with talking to customers on theCUBE across the world is, I need someone to carry me and build that bridge to the future with me, and I don't want to get out ahead of my skis or snowboard, in this case, for you, you're a snowboarder. They don't want to fall down, there's risk. Open source has got innovation. 
So what's your vision on how that's going to evolve for HP? Because right. obviously, great opportunity. And what's the top three customer conversations that you're in? Yeah. How's HP going to do it, top three conversations? So I will say, advisory, services, core, foundational, very strategic for HP. You're going to see significant amount of investments being placed there. We already have a huge presence, both with our TS Consulting, uh, the technology service consulting, our enterprise services, but as well as our software professional services. We're going to bring them closer together and focus on unique business practices around those four key transformation areas where how you implement hybrid infrastructure, how you implement the right orchestration for your infrastructure so you can move more loads depending on where you know they are most effective for you, how we can protect your digital enterprise with the right security advisory practices, how we can transform your enterprise mobility first type of approach, both from the infrastructure all the way to the application, and how we can make sure they use your data the most effective way. And Robert talked on stage, focus on Hadoop and using our Heaven platform as a way to enhance the Hadoop implementation. And advisory services are the core because the reality, customers need help. Not everybody knows how to embark on that journey. Some customers you know, have a large staff, they have made their minds, they understand the strategy, but most of the customer needs help in defining what that journey needs to be. And that's why our, our uh, HP uh, consulting team, our advisory te services team plays a huge role for us. Okay, Antonio Neary, thanks for coming on. I know you're super busy, and I know you got a lot of things going on, and for you to take your time out to, to visit us in theCUBE, really appreciate it. I think I speak for Dave, and thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Always a pleasure to be here, talking to you, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next couple of days. Great, okay, thank you. Antonio thank Neary, you. Senior Vice President, Manager, Enterprise Group. A lot of great change, a lot of great stuff happening. This is theCUBE, bringing you that signal and sharing it here. Join the conversation. Go to hpdiscover.social where we have all the social experience happening right there. Crowd chat, also hashtag hpdiscover. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>